Hello everyone, in this video let's see why Hyen has two valencies. So if you want to know the reason for this, watch my video till the end. So let's get started in the video. So as you can see here, iron is represented as Fe in the periodic table. I mean the modern periodic table. So the iron has two valencies. One is two, another is three. So the valency with 2, it is represented by this, that is Fe2+, plus, and valency with 3 is represented by Fe3+. Plus. So, and before going to the um, reason for knowing why iron has two valencies, you have to know about the basic thing. So an element which has higher valency, an element having only the higher valency, its prefix is should be at I mean it is added using IC ik. So what do you mean by prefix? Prefix is nothing but something added at the last of the word. So for example, if you take plurals, I'm giving a simple example. For example, ant. You have a word called ant. For uh, for plural, you need to add prefix has s. So it becomes ants. So here the s is the prefix. The same way you will be adding. For a higher valency, before an, I mean after an element, you will be adding a prefix IC. And the same way as lower, I mean, if you have lower valency, you'll be using the as a OUS. So this is the main thing we're going to concentrate about. Without um, understanding this, you can't uh, know about this, why iron has two valencies. So as per has uh, we saw in the note before that a lower valency will be having its prefix as OUS and a higher valency will be having its prefix as IC. So similarly, here you can see an element having lower valency. Here, iron with 2 is lower than 3 in the iron. So, 2 has lower valency, so we are using here OUS. And the same way, iron has 3, which is higher than the 2. So, it has higher valency here. So, we are using IC. It is ferric. So, you can represent this as ferrous and this has ferric. So, in the same way, for a short summary, the iron has two valencies, it is 2 and 3. So, the valency with 2 is known as ferrous and the valency has 3 is known as the ferric. So, okay, first let's know some small, I mean, basic details about the iron. So, the atomic number of the iron is 26. So, how can the electronic configuration can be written? It is 2, 8, 8, 8. So, actually, we don't accept this form of uh, I mean the form of electronic configuration let me tell you why because and uh, so for example if you may take a metal of sodium so sodium have a valency of uh, I mean atomic number of atomic number of 11 so its electronic configuration is going to be 2 comma 8 comma 1 and so what you can see here the metals have tendency to lose their electrons similarly here the sodium tries to lose this one electron and become stable so here it becomes Na plus so hence, the, I mean, metals are known as the electropositive. And similarly, if you take a chlorine element, which is, uh, its atomic number is 17, I guess. And also it is, it is represented as 2, 8, 7. So in this case, what happens is, this te its tendency to gain an ele one electron. So it becomes chlorine 1 minus, I mean, minus 1. So here you can see, metals try to, give the electrons or lose the electrons but non-metals tries to gain the electrons so finally you can conclude that middle of that you have a noble gas I mean, in the last period i mean at the last group you have noble gases which completely fills its outermost shell so that is 2 comma 8 comma 8 so outermost shell is capable of holding only eight electrons so that it's completely filled so the noble gases are uh, are stable so it cannot be i mean so that we cannot kind of say that it is an I mean iron cannot I can, iron is not I mean it's not a metal because it has completely filled outer shells as you can see here. So now let's see about this. So let's try to arrange this in a column. So here we have a table. So we're gonna fill this according to its. So firstly, let's know the general formula of these shells. So how much at maximum can K shell uh, I mean contain? It's two, of course, it's two. And second shell contains 8. Third shell contains 18. And the fourth shell contains uh, 32 electrons. So, 
Now let's see the possibilities of an ion containing its electronic configuration. We cannot say it's 2, 8, 8, 8. So it has various configurations. So let's try to do that without having its outermost shell has complete. So first shell, however, is going to be 2. And the second shell is going to be 3. I mean 8, of course. And the third shell, I'm giving it as 15. So let me see what will be the end shell. So 2 plus 8, 10. 10 plus 15, it's 25. 25 plus 1 gives 26. Why I'm targeting at 26? Because 26 is its, I mean, ion's atomic number is 26. So that's why I'm using this. Uh, I mean, according to the, uh, I'm arranging according to it, the electronic configuration. So let's continue with the second uh, possible, I mean, possibility. First shell is 2, of course. Second shell is going to be 8, of course. And the third shell, I'm taking it as 14. So 2 plus 8, 10. 10 plus 14 gives you 24. 24 plus 2 gives you 26. So same way, I'm taking first shell 2, third possibility. And uh, second shell 8. Third shell, I'm taking 13. So 8, comma, I mean, 8 plus 2, 10. 10 plus 13, 23. 23 plus 3, 26. So we got all the total possibilities here. So this is the first possibility, second possibility, and third possibility for the ion for its electronic configuration. So as you can see, the general formula, don't mind about this general formula. Okay, don't mind about this. So firstly, we see the 15. Actually, 15 is, cannot be stable in this case. So we are saying it cannot be stable. It is It cannot be stable here. So we are avoiding this first possibility. And what about second and third? It's 14 and 13. Yeah, it's, it can be. It is not stable. It's, uh, I mean, it's instable. So we can use this properly. It is instable, but it's stable somewhat. Okay. So that we can try to arrange this. So here, the outermost valence electrons here is 2 and 3. So hence, we are using this has the valence. I mean, valency of ion has 2 and 3. So now let's more uh, get into detail more here. So here we have two examples. I have two examples here. Again, I repeat, I mean, let me recall about this again. So, IC is used for higher valencies and OUS is used for the lower valencies. So, let's continue with this. So, first, if you see, we have example of ferric oxide. So, what is ferric oxide? Is, I mean, how, what is the formula of ferric oxide? It is given Fe2O3. So, let's see how it came. So, firstly, there are two elements. So, we are using Fe and O, I mean oxygen, iron and oxygen. So if you see, what is the valency of iron? So it's IC. So if you see IC itself, you have to remember the valency is going to be 3 here. So I'm inserting a valency of 3 for the iron. And for oxygen, of course, the valency is 2. So I'm adding 2. Now try doing the cross multiply. I mean cross multiply it. So that finally you get the formula has F E 2 F E 2 and O 3. As you can see the O here and the 3. So this is the formula for this how you get this. So I C means 3 as I told you 3 is the valency. And the same way if you see here it's uh, O U S. Uh, OUS is for lower valency, I mean for the valency of 2 in case of the ion. So that I am using this as ferric, I mean ferrous sulfide. So let me try to arrange this. Firstly, I am taking uh, two elements that is ion and sulfide. So what is the valency of ion? So as you know the valency of ion is 2. Actually it is 2 plus, right? I am adding 2 plus for the safer signs. Because sulfide has minus 2 has valency. So as you see here, when you try to cross multiply it, I mean like this. So if you see, both can get cancelled here. In this case, both can be get cancelled because plus 2 and minus 2. And finally, it forms a formula FeSO, I mean 4 comes here. And I mean FeSO4. So this is how you get this formula FeSO4. Let me repeat again this. 
a ferric oxide uh, i mean iron has a valency of 3 here because ic means 3 so that i'm adding valency of 3 and oxygen of valency 2 i'm concluding this as fe2o3 by cross multiplying and what about the ferrous sulfate ferrous sulfate fe is 2 and so4 sulfide so4 together is known as sulfide so iron has valency of 2 here because it's ous ous for lower elements we have valency of 2 here so that we are writing iron has plus 2 for the safer size because these both are going to get cancelled without any confusion we can do it so that I am adding 2 here and SO4, SO4 has a valency of minus 2 so I am finally concluding it has the formula has the FeSO4 so this is the uh, end of this video so I will continue with a new topic in the next video.